One bazillion and one recording of The Sims House because I suck at recording and playing. So I decided to do this in build mode because if I leave the game on play, The Sims do stuff, I get distracted and we go nowhere. So let's hope and pray this will work out. Let's start with the roof because... Oh, and the outside? <coughs> uh, I'm pretty happy. Oh, and okay, so... Logically speaking, we are in Arizona. So this is in Sims. It's actually some oasis desert thingy In my story because I built this house and the characters for Nano Remo 2016 called 420 Cherry It's a stoner story where and a road trip story where my main character Tuki goes on a road trip to Arizona and then Lake Tahoe in California with the male character and and they meet some Judas in the process and it's testing human relationships emotions and how you handle life and what life throws at you basically so back to the game I love this lot because I'm right in front of a river and hopefully the sims can fish and catch some fish because fish because I do have an aquarium I would like to have filled and they're all nature lovers, so they better get me some freaking fish. And not to be chips and dinner. So I have this cool little stone pavement thingy all around the house because at first <laughs> the entrance was about here between these two bushes. And the door is way over here, so to um, make things look less silly and stupid. I just paved everything in stone. Um, okay, so flowers and stone and wood, basically the main theme of this house and lamps everywhere because in the night, in the desert, you might have wild coyotes and stuff and you know, let's be safe as much as possible. Uh, post box, mailbox, in the same theme as um, <coughs> the house all stone and flowers here we have a small peek inside the living room decoration there's a lot of flowers to give life counterbalance to the stone and dead wood that I use a lot in this build another little back door and I just love these roses since there's like less windows on this side, I decided to have these rose thingies to um, make it more interesting. Maybe I should add a few more here. And <coughs> my pride and joy, the rooftop. Because who doesn't like barbecue on the roof, you know? And of course, let's make things natural and in harmony with your surroundings stone chairs and uh, exotic trees small little table to um, put your vegetables and your meats and stuff and sauces for your barbecue and here we oops no I don't want to move it uh, Tuki's camera drinks eating area with obviously oh sorry about that oh what the heck see this is why i don't like build mode you can't just go around without poking stuff and disrupting harmony <clears throat> so campfire because who doesn't like to eat hamburger at eight in the morning with a campfire and trick question my character sam did that did that last last yesterday morning and I was like, dude, what the heck are you doing? But, mm, okay, whatever. Jenga game. Isn't this cute? I wish I could have them all three play this game, but at the moment I only noticed like one at a time. Uh, watching the stars or whatever. Another sitting spot. And here a little... Here we go, and at night, I swear, this is lit, like absolutely just amazing, and actually let's switch, morning, afternoon, oh, here, oh, oh, we're starting, we're starting, and just 
here when you isn't like wouldn't you just love to have dinner on the roof in the afternoon evening like seriously I'm just dying and obviously at night the trees light up and I did the roof expressly for the lit up trees I originally wanted to have them in the living room but they're way taller than my um, <clears throat> original housing wall height and I didn't feel like custom build the height because I'm not exactly mastering this game yet so yeah what I absolutely freaking adore the vibe so yeah this is my outside and it's amazing and now let's go morning day let's go one floor down this is the main house the door entry door to the living room we have another door from the side that leads directly to Jude's quarters in the basement and we have a back door if you're coming from the back and you just exhausted and you want to sit down and take a chill so let's go in and let's take down the walls um, so right off the bat I wanted some rich woody accent you know, small cozy dark the little blue for the sky and make it more lighter compared to the because um, if, if it's all dark it can be gloomy so this is a bit sky and earth with as you can see not nature accents everywhere oh and I should this move it there voila because as you as you as I edited and moved along I misplaced things and wait I can no I want this like I have edited this thing so many times and so I might have forgotten a few things here and there oh and you know for the sake of geometry why the heck not and then I might move this thing here maybe move one of the plants can I oh yeah there's peace okay now see this is a bit more harmonious and logic so since everything's about nature and nature loving obviously the TV stand has to be a big fat rock because who doesn't like a big fat rock it's solid it's sturdy it's reliable and your TV channels literally the um, magnetic forces of the stone and give you better HD definition it's the law of physics if you didn't know piano for entertainment because there are classic peeps in here and I wanted <coughs> very ocean toned as you can see the deep ocean carpet with the shallow water couch it's done on purpose to also have because I'm a freaking ocean addict let's just say it like that so sky shallow deep guitars because you know I love I have a guitar myself I bought it at Costco for 100 bucks la two years ago played for the first time yesterday morning on live me stream I traumatized 14 people that was amazing God please forgive me for my sins so dark absolutely love the dark ebony almost ebony black sort of rich wood contrasting with the more caramel chocolate wood panel here and of course dark to remain in harmony and balance with the wall but then we have this 
switching to lighter colors in the kitchen while maintaining a sense of darkness in the windows. Table for two, because at first I only planned to have Tuki and Ant in this house, then I moved in Sam in the basement, but we'll talk about that later. And I just found this guy the most interesting character. Can I flip you around? Okay, maybe. Ugh. Okay, kind of weird that the platter goes um, <clears throat> into the wall, but okay, maybe it's a half platter. You know? Anyway. And of course, the house is full of plants because nature and I. To give a sense of life in this mess. So I have to bring down this wall so you can see. The fridge, uh, dishwasher, counter, stove, the lamp. And I'm gonna bring down the wall. Hello, thank you. <coughs> I don't wanna move. Coffee for him, tea for her. Uh, coffee and tea accessories and a little menu on what's servable today. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can I move? This? No, I can't. Oh, this is a bit of an odd angle, but okay, whatever. Unless I move the sink there. Uh, pardon me for being absolutely random, but my OCD is having a lag. Oh no, so you can't. So what? Whichever it's okay, whatever. Let's never mind that episode. More plans. Oh, and <clears throat> in the story, I describe an old crickety crackety arm uh, computer chair. This could be it, though. In my my vision, it was a bit older and more um, with you know patches and stuff because Sam is having a depression and he doesn't care about updating his uh, <clears throat> his stuff. No, I don't want to remove the floor. Fuck off. Oh, sorry for my language, by the way. I might get passionately carried away. Uh, lamps that always have your staircase fully lit. Because you never know when an accident might happen. I'm just saying. So then, back door. If you come in and you just totally get exhausted, you can sit down and take your breath before you move on with your life. Clothes rack for her, clothes rack for him, with a little bit of light accent with the honeycomb shelf here. On and the same on the other side. And if you feel like a sudden urge to work to the ground and plant and do stuff, well, it's easy of access. I mean, the field is just up there with plants and stuff, so you know, logical. For once in my life, I'm logical. Door to the bathroom. Actually, there's two doors. So there's the door here when you come in from the outside and you have an urgent need. You go there. And the one from the bedroom because if you have a leak at 3 a.m., it will be complicated to just go out and go back in when, you know, it's just next door. So. And then this absolute gorgeous shallow water blue tiles which i'm completely mad about and the lamps okay so yeah let's keep it uh mirror to contemplate yourself or your <laughs> smiling carpet <laughs> i wanted to have a touch of humor in this room because it's a bathroom and it's chill you know when you take a bath you don't want to be serious all the time you just want to let your thoughts flow and go in the direction that they want to go. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, I might have a sore throat at the moment. It's beginning to itch. Uh, I think this is her side. With the shower and the trash bin, sink, another trash bin just in case. And in my stories, couples do like to like take a bath and have a chair, sit down and talk blue honeycomb to i mean in case you need it's always practical to have stuff i mean it, it, it feels a space 
while it's being practical. And this is his side. And now uh, with the wall and the door that is leading to... Nope, I don't want to move it. The bedroom. And getting the hang of the camera control was such a freaking challenge, I kid you not. So, for the bathroom, I want... The bathroom. The bedroom. Hello, language. I wanted something very down-to-earth, rustic, deserty, and... Uh, a woodman, how do you call those? Bûcheron in French? Woodcutter, you know, the lumberjack. Lumberjack vibe team because they're rugged, they love nature, and this is their sacred space. So again, dark floors with medium dark chocolate wood. Chair to sit down and just chill. Her side, if you can see from here. And the yin yang, the white for her, and the black for him, her sign, like her side, though Tuki tends to take his sign, because whatever. I love books, obviously, so books help to sit down and read, examine yourself almost, okay, let's say 180, in the corner mirror. The aquarium, I really hope I can catch fish to fill that thing. This door leads to the living room, as you can see there. My uh, Taijin carpet, the yin yang, which is actually supposed to be like this. Uh, this is, this would be Ant's side. No, I don't want to remove the floor, you freaking twat. Sorry for my language. But you have to get used to it. And I wanted a light color here to brighten up the room. To contrast and balance with all the dark wooden... Um, oh, interesting. We have colors for this. Brown. Oh, this could be... Oh, too big. <laughs> but this could be interesting. But way off tone. Uh, purple, brown. Ugh, not working. Well, it was what I tried. So, um, to contrast with all the dark, rustic wooden accents, I wanted a light wall panel and a lot of lighting, as you can see with the three lamps. Because it's also a fairly large room that I might have to split in half because Tuki might be expecting a baby. And congratulations to Ed, it's only your second try mate and you already scored. So, back to house. Um, I love the old classic furniture style, so obviously I had to have this. Which I found in, by default, when I built a room for Judas downstairs. And obviously baby food for Ant and Tuki and maybe Ant and Sam, eventually for the guys to like bond over. Um, what do you call this? Flechette. I know it in French, but I'm not sure in English. Anyway, you know, it's, uh, this is the, the guy section of the room. And since my character Ant is built on a real life Facebook friend who like, well, he believes in aliens, so I have a little small homage to him with the um, alien movie poster, which reminds me of the actual movie The Pod in 2014-15 ish. It's pretty, it's interesting movie. And here I should have curtains or covers for the window because it goes directly in the bat, bat, the bedroom. But then again, I love to have a maximum of light, and it's not like people from outside can peek and actually see what's happening in the bed versus this window where it gives directly on the bed. So, I don't know. And I like natural sunlight, sitting on a chair, reading a book, if you know what I mean. Also, classic wooden lamps for, you know, making it a bit authentic and balance because they're a young couple but I wanted old old souls so old vibe 
So this was the bedroom and here we have the living room with the door and I might have a bit more decoration to balance out because it feels a bit empty-ish but you know like I said my OCD is lagging I need to run around things and notice the, the discrepancies before I address them again a whole lot of windows and light because I like brightly light rooms especially when the accents or bases are darkish so it's like a dark warm enhanced by the various light sources as you come down the stairs sturdy stairs you have your gothic lamps accenting the light because you can, I mean, it's just safer to have a brightly lit staircase, especially when you go into the basement. Let's just be practical here. Um, everything in Sam's place is, it has the same original wooden accent with the caramel chocolate browns, but it's definitely more on the blood and passion with the deep red and the darker brown accents while keeping the harmony with light and having things in as much light as possible for instance this couch being white to pop a bit of light in the surrounding darkness as you can see and uh, Jude having a traveler he collects art and paintings from where locations he visited appreciative art obviously and I didn't notice that the tree was growing on the other side oops that might be a little fluke can I okay like this maybe okay there we are uh, this might be a game glitch so again, the room is uh, dark brown with popping red because it's in, in my story, Sam does spend the night with a few Craigslist girls he hires for fun, for night. So I wanted to transport that concept into his bedroom with um, the classic red part, red passionate red accents here the mm, classic feu de foyer or foyer fire foyer foyer how you pronounce that thing in english and what i like about sam since he's old he has traveled he has collected a bunch of weird things like um, <clears throat> these two armored knight guarding the romantic space and to impress the girls why not if you know what I mean. Oh, oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to change. Do I go dark? Yes. So normally I try to keep like pale or light accents to balance the dark, but sometimes you gotta go with the harmony and have your door just dark, you know. Again, guitars. Another cozy romantic spot. Uh, light light everywhere to balance the fact there's no windows and to counterbalance the load of darkness here with also a bit of life because it's all good to be like all doom and gloom but you need to have hope in your life so this door leads from leads to and from the living room and Obviously, my bedroom always have a door directly, or a direct door, to the bathroom because if you need to take a leak in the middle of the night, it would be stupid to go out to the living room and cross all the half to half to go to your toilet need. And I might change on this side to something, voila more in harmony with the general accent of the room 
and for Sam I didn't want the classic shallow water ocean because he's more as a contrast to his hell bathroom in gothic accents of red and black and uh, <clears throat> you know ancient styles I wanted the bathroom to be a meditative, meditative space where he can just sit down on this lotus lamp and let his chi flow have um, <clears throat> illumination or whatever and and it's just more cozy and peaceful without being cold to me because of the lighter blue and the rich dark blue of the ocean it's more like a relaxing spot uh, and I have this whole wall covered in mirrors because Sam being in his late 40s mid 50s he needs to reassure himself about his physical appearance to impress the girls so a little mirror to like keep check his body and obviously who doesn't like to take a bubble bath and contemplate yourself and just you know think let your process your flow of thoughts go in the direction they want to go and have interesting things though no, funny stuff yesterday I was playing this game and so Ant came to use the bathroom and it was so cracking hilarious how he and I don't know how I didn't realize this the bathroom is or the toilet is facing no I don't want to move it the toilet facing the mirror so he was contemplating himself taking a leak and it was the most hilarious thing ever because I'm a weirdo like that and on this side we have the dining area with again a landscape of maybe a place he visited because I love traveling so everything in this place is family and travel with obviously your accented light because there's no windows in the basement so I keep to have it I try to have as much light as possible and again the caramel to chocolate brown with the dark chocolate accents the deep red for passion and anger cabinet from mom china cabinet from dad and a lamp and ooh, maybe his father his mother the family and it's interesting because yesterday morning I was playing this game and these two portraits were like he was a werewolf she was a vampire and this was also messed up and my character and saw a ghost in the bathroom so I'm thinking these portraits are haunted which is totally cool it's just nice man nice touch I could write a whole horror, like maybe I could write a ghost story eventually based on the inspiration I get from this place. And now we go into the kitchen. And I like how I can access the dining room from two locations here. I try to keep this section more like a caramel chocolate versus the dark. Because you know, I could go dark, but that's just depressing so I'm keeping it as light as I possibly can to counterbalance the darkness all around and I think oh wait, do I have two tea machines yes I have two machines I'm gonna sell one that's what I need tea or juice or whatever coffee and knives if you feel like in a murderous mood and you wanna stab somebody to death why not? Uh, yeah, I didn't say that. And here, right off the stairs, again, two chairs on the two lights. If you just want to hide from the world, sit down, read a book, talk with your ancestors. I'm thinking this could be Sam's grandfather and her, his grandmother. And here I might add a poster or just keep it white to bring a light accent to um, the generally cozy but dark living area. And since Sam is single, he doesn't need all the fluff 
from the upstairs from the young couple which is loaded and spacious because they might be expecting a little surprise eventually soon oh and check this out the little shop of horrors isn't this the funniest thing ever they do have a few neat poster movie movie posters okay so one final look I'm gonna bring down the wall. Uh, living room, access point, kitchen, dining, bedroom, and bathroom. Here we have the living room, the access point, the kitchen, which these two basically inverted downstairs. I just happened like that. Bathroom and bedroom. So the door access point to the roof and my beloved roof I freaking love this place like seriously like this this is lit I'm living for this like I seriously I wish I could dump my life and just go live in the Sims game and have barbecue with the fire with the family on the roof and all those lit trees and ugh living so yeah this is a humble tour of my house for a fiction that I'm going to write in two days or start writing in two days Oh, by the way, if you don't know what Nano Limo is, you basically have to write a 50,000 word novel story in the space of one month. And if you achieve the challenge, you win. Like, there's no prize or whatever, but you can um, buy like a winning bracelet thingy and there's like a word count, so there's no cheating. And it's pretty cool. This year is my third participation. I'm excited.